now coming to the scientific world later on in the medical evaluation the first thing which could be attributed to the heart brain interaction is the famous baroreceptor reflex i am sure all of you are aware of this and this is a scenario in which the baroreceptors detects the pressure changes in the body by the carotid uh, bodies and all and it is conveyed to the brain via the glossopharyngeal nerve to the medulla and from there there is a reflex uh, via the vagus nerve which regulates the heart rate of the patient so later on further uh, evaluations arised and uh, the autonomous nervous system was identified and where in which uh, we could realize that there was an interplay between the respiratory system and the uh, 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 um, heart that is like there is a respiratory variation in the heart rate and uh, the blood pressure again uh, had an interaction with the heart so all this was controlled as a result between the interplay between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic system of the body so all this i am sure all of you are aware of and in 1985 netelson he described a new field in medicine it was called as neurocardiology and this studied the interaction between the cardiovascular and the nervous system both in physiological as well as pathological scenarios and later on scientists like uh, kaplan and van der waal they evaluated in detail about the neurocardiology and and its effects on uh, perioperative as well as uh, critical care scenarios so as the imaging sciences advanced the with the advent of the pet as well as the mri scans new neuronal pathways could be identified in the brain and there was efferent pathways and the efferent pathways where it had interconnections between the frontal lobe the hypothalamus the amygdala as well as the brain stem and via the ga- ganglions and the autonomic nervous system how they communicated to the cardiac system so this pathways and the centers together came to be known as the neurocardiac axis now in this presentation we will be dealing with the specific brain regions and its uh, effect on the cardiovascular system the neurocardiac reflexes and the uh, effect of brain on the heart in the pathological scenario and these are the famously known as the takotsubo cardiomyopathy or the neurogenic stun myocardium now first coming to the brain stem as you all know it has uh, different parts that's the midbrain pons as well as the medulla so when it comes to brain stem like i told before in the 